Hey guys, so in this video we are going to try to define what a library is and what a framework is. So let's get into it. Now, to start us off, I have to tell you something and that thing is basically that the IT world suffers from a lot of ambiguity. There are so many terms that are mean this virtually the same sort of thing they're very similar it's very you know hard to know what's actually what and for the most part some like some people use them interchangeably like in an interchangeable manner like you will have people who use certain terms out of well things lose their semantic meaning. A good example of that is API. What is an API? Do you mean a programming API? Do you mean a REST API? Like what API do you mean? And when it comes to libraries and, and frameworks, the distinction is sort of the same way. I mean, there are people who will call a library a framework or a framework a library. And in, depending on your semantic meaning, they kind of mean, mean the same thing. Uh, they seem, mean the same thing in essence. But in order for us to try to define this for the genius out there, so that you can understand like, what, in general, like this is of course just my definition of it, and as I said, it people's definition of it vary quite a bit. But the general consensus is that a framework is something that is big. A library is something that has a size. Now what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that a library is something that can vary in size. A framework is a library. A library is just a dependency that it's outside of your own code for the most part, or something that you depend on in order to do your, to write your software. And that can be anything from a really, really big library in technically every single th framework or every third party like code that you no, you don't have necessarily part of your own code base. It's something that you depend on. It's a library. It's just a dependency. And although a there's no like accurate measurement for how big something has to be in order for it to become a framework, the distinction is usually made that a library is a supporting piece of code to your code. A framework is an entire way of working. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that if you depend on something like, let's take JavaScript, for example. If you depend on something like Axios or something of that nature, Axios is a HTTP, like a, it's just a, it, it's a, basically a library that allows you to do network calls and just talk to the server. That's basically what it does. That is a library. React, Angular, Vue, you know, JS, like Express, these are frameworks. Because what they do is that they don't just support your code with some small piece of functionality or some piece of functionality. They don't just enhance your own code. They create an entire structure around how you build your application. In other languages, take Java has Spring, that's a framework. Laravel in PHP is a framework. Flask in Python is a framework. Ruby on Rails is a framework. .NET is a framework. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So that's the general, I would say that that's what I believe to be the general consensus when it comes to the difference between a library and a framework. So how should your mindset work? Like what, 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 mat what why does it matter when you define something as a framework as opposed to uh, of as a library. Well, it doesn't really matter all that much, but what you should consider is that when you think about adding a framework to your stack, that is usually a very big decision. And although, and I'm gonna touch on the library part as well. So adding a framework such as say Laravel and PHP to your, to your stack, is something you, you have maybe one or two of these frameworks in your entire code base. Libraries, depending on your language, can actually grow to be quite a long list of dependencies. Now, I made videos in the past where I tried to explain like the pros and the cons of having 
having that approach or having a more conservative approach. And what I want you to take away from this is that when you use a framework, like a big framework, as I said, you usually just have one or two of them. That usually is a very quote unquote simple decision for you to make because the framework is something that structures your entire application. You think of it as the, the backbone of your, your, uh, your architecture. All the code around it is something that you build around that code. I mean, if you add React to your project, you work in React. If you add Laravel to your PHP server, you work in a, like the way that that framework is structured. You, you don't just customize everything and do your own thing because then you wouldn't use the framework. So frameworks are just a, it's a much bigger commitment well, depending on like, and I'll touch on this. It's a bigger commitment for your for you as a programmer because it it it's it sets the tone for how you work in the project. A library does not necessarily do that. It's just something that you use, in, as I said, in order to enhance your thing. But the, the tricky part here is that you may think that, oh, then I'll just you know because especially in JavaScript, a lot of people just add libraries like. Like there's no reason for them not to have it if it saves them time, right? The issue with having too many libraries is that you have what I call a dependency hell. That means that every time you add a library to your stack, you are, think of it as putting a little string on yourself. You're connecting and committing yourself to a implementation of code that somebody else made, which means that now you have to make sure that that is compatible with your other, other packages. You have to maintain it. I mean, if you'd make an, let's say that you update your framework, usually updating the framework itself is very simple. You upgrade and it's kind of, because these are, as I said, really big tools. It's usually easy to upgrade those, but that's not the issue. The issue is your libraries, because your libraries may be connected or be in some way depending on that your framework is working in a certain way or has a certain interface, and now you upgraded that big framework, and now all those other libraries need to be upgraded alongside with it. And then you'll find that, oh, some of them are not maintained anymore. Some of them are just not compatible with that version of the framework. There's tons of reasons as to why those packages that you now depend on no longer work. And if you're really unlucky, which is the case with, say, Axios. Now, this is like, uh, this is just an example. Axios is compatible with almost any, everything. But imagine if, I mean, your framework is tied into all your software which means that you can't throw away your... So if, you, if your framework doesn't work, you don't... Re, if, it would mean a complete rewrite of the whole system if it doesn't work. But if you think about it, what happens if you have an issue with one of your tiny little libraries and you use that library absolutely everywhere? Like, say, Axios or a network framework, of some, a network library of some sort. Even though the size of the dependency, the library itself, isn't all that big, that doesn't really matter when you're using it absolutely everywhere and it's tied into every piece of business logic you have because the impact of having that library is almost as big as having the framework. That's what I want you to take away from this. I want you to take away from that a framework is an entire way of working but a lot and that, that means that you have to really consider which framework you use because it sets the tone for all your work but at the same time you need to keep an eye on your libraries even though they are semantically not the, as big as your framework depending on how the, how you use them they can do just as much damage once you want you realize that you want to upgrade a version or do something of that nature so to summarize a framework is a big dependency that is an entire way of working. A library is usually a smaller dependency that enhances your own code so you don't have to write that software yourself. Have a great day.